right, this is day 16 of Helena Recovery in the Green River Cove. Today I'm going to focus a little bit more on my personal struggle for recovery. Uh, last night I finally had a few moments to myself and I checked my FEMA application and I'm not getting anything for food, clothing, and I've been denied storage. I have no earthly idea what FEMA is thinking about where I'm going to store this stuff. This house is going to have to be destroyed, what's left of it. I've recovered. I've recovered some of the things I can. I really need a leg up. Uh, I, Due to my uh, life experiences, I don't really expect any help from the government. I'm not being negative. I'm being honest. If they've seen this mess on CNN... I've sent them videos. They know I lost everything. If they won't give me storage, I'm not betting they're going to help me rebuild. I really, really need two things. Gasoline here at the Green River Ranch. And I need funds to rebuild. I also need some hands to help. I need to mark off where my wellhead here, well, well head is. It's very vital to my recovery. And I also need to mark off over there where my septic tank is to keep this heavy equipment away from it so it doesn't get crushed. And I really will lose everything. Well, my only plan B, if this doesn't work, is I, I'm not going to be homeless in the United States. I know how cruel that is. I, I will, if I have no other choice, I will perpetually wander Latin America what little I have on my back on a backpack. I don't really want to do that, at least not this way. But I really need hands up. I need I need people for three major projects today that I think of immediately. I need people to help sort the supplies for other victims here and get out the food, the fresh food that's starting to go bad and sort it out to help keep it clean. I also need some folks to help over at ranch and do some housekeeping. I'm trying to do all of it. I've been neglecting my own recovery for most of the past two weeks, I've only had a few hours in the last couple of days. I really have to recover my gear. The roads are being restored. Looters are coming. Believe it or not, there's some real dirt bags out there. I really need to get my stuff recovered. I need help with some housekeeping, cleaning that house and sorting. I also need some people that are physically fit and can walk over a little bit of rough terrain to help me recover some of my personal gear from a cargo container I have located. So far, I've only recovered uh, significantly out of my container, one kayak. I got a couple more I really want to get out. All I have in this world right now is a car with two kayaks on the roof, two paddles, some clothing for rafting for warm, cool weather. And FEMA ain't giving me no uh, clothing allowance. I got, I got basically nothing. If you could do me a solid, please go in the description send me a donation to help my rebuild effort and also if you could provide any of that labor from housekeeping it's really really neat i need to show my good friend john grace some love because he's really helped me and he was here with me while i watched everything i had float away that was huge i want to do him a huge solid i don't want to tell him no i don't have time i really need some ladies or folks that are willing to help clean the place up I need some help sorting out the goods for the other victims, and I really need some help uh, trying to recover some of my stuff and flag my property to help protect what little I have left. Peace out. Love you guys. I am really trying to be as positive as I can, but at this point, I have to be real. I can't do this by myself. I need some help.